The Synology DS1517 Plus is a 5 bay network attached storage solution. It is equipped with an Intel quad core 2.4 GHz processor, 2 or 8 GB of RAM that is expandable to 16 GB. On the front is the access to the 5 drive bays, LED indicators, power switch and one convenient front USB 3.0 port. The rear of the unit has two cooling fans, power supply plug, reset button, security slot, two eSATA ports, four RJ45 Ethernet ports, three USB 3.0 ports and a PCI Express expansion slot. The package contains the Synology NAS, a power plug, two Ethernet cables, a set of screws for mounting 2.5 inch drives and a set of keys to lock the drive bays. Removing the bottom panel provides access to the RAM. This unit has come pre-installed with 8GB and is expandable up to 16GB. To access the PCI Express slot, you will need to remove the case cover, then remove the small back plate. The PCI Express expansion slot can be used to add an M.2 SSD or a 10 gigabit Ethernet card to enhance the DS1517 Plus's performance. To install the drives, push and release the bay tray. Remove the two side plastic clips and insert the drive. To mount 2.5 inch drives into the trays, you will need to use the provided screws to secure the drive. Next, reinstall the drive bay by sliding the loaded tray back into the unit. Repeat the same process for any further drives. We'll be installing two 6TB NAS drives to begin with and expanding the capacity as our storage needs grow. The unit is provided with a set of keys. The keys can be used to lock the drive bays and prevent any tampering or accidental drive removal. Once the drives have been installed, connect the Ethernet cable to the Synology LAN port. The other end of the cable into a free LAN port in your router. Next, plug in the power cable and power up the system via the front power switch. The NAS will need a few moments for the initial boot up. On a computer, open an internet browser to access and set up the Synology disk station. Type find.synology.com The Web Assistant welcome screen will open and locate the new device. Next, install the Disk Station Manager to the Synology NAS. There is a notification to erase all data on the newly installed drives. Click on OK to proceed. The Disk Station Manager will begin to install to the Synology unit and then automatically reboot. The next step is to set up the administrator account and allocate a new name for the server. We have named the server Disk Station for this example. Add a preferred username and password. Set up the Disk Station Manager and the update schedule. 
This can be adjusted to be performed outside of your peak operating hours. Once the disk station manager has been installed, the first thing we need to do is create a new volume. Open the main menu and click on storage manager. Click on volume, then create. Next, choose a mode for the hard disk fault tolerance. Quick will use the Synology Hybrid RAID SHR. Custom RAID setups are also available for more advanced users. Next, select the file system. With the selected settings, we will have one disk drive redundancy. If one drive fails, no stored data will be lost. Replace the failed drive and it will rebuild the volume. Next, it will create the file system, scan and map the drives. Now we need to create a folder for basic storage and sharing. Open the file station and add a name for the folder. We can call this folder backups. Select the user permissions for the access of the folder. Access to the new backup folder can be used via the current web browser login. Files can be easily dragged and dropped into the folder and backed up on the Synology unit. Another method to access the NAS is to create a drive that is seen in my computer on the PC. Here we can create a visible server drive. Click on Map Network Drive. For this we'll be using the letter Z for the drive. Browse for the backup folder we created. Now the Synology appears as a network drive in my computer. This can be used as any other drive on the PC to access, drag and drop files. The Synology DS1517 Plus is powerful enough to run other Synology ecosystem applications also. Media can be streamed, watched and downloaded to mobile devices by the audio, photo or video station app. There is a personal cloud station where data is synchronised across all of your devices, from computers, mobile devices or other Synology NAS units. USB copy application that can back up data via USB from an external USB device, camera, or memory card directly to the NAS. This will import, sort and store to the server for later access. Active and hyper backup options also provide a strategy for all your automated backup needs. Hosting of your own website, workplace mail plus server or even use for a surveillance station when connected to IP cameras. The Synology DS1517 Plus is a high-performance, all-in-one server solution to meet all your needs.